I'll take a few minutes now to talk about socialization, specifically in this lecture, Jean Piaget's Stages of Development. Now, socialization, defined, is the process that teaches norms and values and other aspects of a culture to new group members. And there are two kinds of socialization that we can define. One of those is primary socialization. This occurs during your childhood. And the other is secondary socialization. This occurs throughout your life. There have been several theorists who have contributed to the field of socialization theory that we could mention. Charles Cooley with his looking glass self theory. George Herbert Mead, his stages of self theory. Eric Erickson, the eight stages of development. Lawrence Kohlberg's moral development theory. And Carol Gilligan's responses to Kohlberg's shortcomings. But we're going to concentrate in this lecture on Jean Piaget. Now, Piaget was a Swiss developmental psychologist. He was alive until 1980. And he came up with this four-stage process of how we develop into functioning, well-rounded members of society. So let's take a look at each one of these. The first stage is the sensory motor stage, and this happens from birth to two years of age. Now anybody who's been around children or has a child of their own knows that this first two years contains a lot of development. However, for the most part, in this stage, Piaget theorizes that life is experienced via the senses. And so in this stage, it's about what you can see, what you can touch, what you can put in your mouth. Uh, it's a very concrete type of stage. So your reality, your social world, is very physical. It's all about tactile objects and how they fit into your life. Stage two is the pre-operational stage, and this occurs between the ages of two and seven. In the early stages here, symbols begin to be understood. Now remember that Language is a symbol for thought. And so we start to be able to understand here what is meant when words are used. As the child ages through this pre-operational stage, language is introduced. And meanings of self and other begin to change in this stage. In the operational stage, you are the center of the universe and everything else exists to take care of you. In the pre-operational stage, particularly if those agents of socialization are working well, towards the end of this stage, the child starts to understand that they're not necessarily the center of the universe and that the world does not revolve around them. They begin to understand that other people are also fully developed beings just like they are. Stage three is referred to as the concrete operational stage. Here, the ages of about seven to 12. And again, a lot of things happen in this stage. Hormones start to kick in. Pre-puberty is beginning. However, in this stage, Piaget is concerned with the socialization process and what is happening to the individual. And so here he theorizes that we begin to be able to understand very simple cause and effect relationships. For example, if I place my hand on the hot stove, I will burn my hand. Again, this is a very concrete type of relationship that we are able to establish, particularly in the early ages of this stage. Those relationships of cause and effect tend to be very clearly defined, very black and white. In this stage also, we understand what other people are thinking. And so we start to develop our sense of self with regard to how we believe others see us. Where the stages before Piaget would theorize we didn't really care about how other people saw us. In this stage, society starts to become very important to us, as do our understandings of how other people view us. In the final stage, stage four, which is called the formal operational stage, 
abstract reasoning skills begin to increase. Now this is the age of 12 and above. Now remember that these age ranges are rough age ranges. However, this is generally speaking going to be the case. Piaget theorizes that we're able to start thinking about things that have much deeper meanings and understandings and implications for us and how we fit into society. And so we start to be able to understand really complex ideas and ideals about society. For example, what does love mean? What is the concept of justice? If I do these things, how do I hurt the other person's feelings or how do I make the other person feel? So in stage three, where we had a very concrete cause and effect type of understanding of society, in stage four, our understanding of cause and effect becomes much more subtle and much more deeply understood by us. This is the stage that we want our members of society to be in. I'm not sure that every member of society, or even most members of society today, get to this level and maintain this level. We want people to understand that their actions, and further, their words, have impacts on others and we want them to be cognizant of that as they go out into the world and deal with people that they know and people that they don't know and so you have to question whether or not this is where we are as a society or this is an ideal that we need to still strive to achieve. So that's Piaget's stages of development in a nutshell. I hope this helps you to understand this particular theory with regard to processes of socialization. Take care. Bye-bye.